Hey everybody, it's Sam back once again, and this is a, a couple of user requested review reviewers this one. And this is just to have a look at the new YouTube application that's been updated just recently. Um, so let's get into it. So I'm going to jump into it straight away. So we'll go straight to the home screen. And here we go, so we'll jump out of there. So here it is, so when you're first on there, it brings up your channel feed, which basically you can populate all your different channels that you subscribe to, and obviously you can view them all here. And just to go through them, you know, very much like the you know, kind of Google um, Plus update, you know, go through it like that, and as you see, it kind of fades in at the bottom. And as you can see there, basically you're all the kind of channels, you know, so any new videos that are out there from people you currently subscribe to, just shows you all those videos there. Um, and obviously if you want to actually view, you know, all of your channels, basically you can even tap there, and it brings up all your channels you subscribe to there at the side. Or alternatively, you can actually just swipe, and there they are. If you want to go to your channel, basically tap that there. So I will just show you now. Obviously, there we go. It then shows you what your current, obviously, what your um, you know, what your history has been like. So what you know, what you've been currently watching, etc. Jump back in there. You've got your uploads. So as a quick example, shows you all your currently you know all the videos you've currently uploaded. Jump back out of there. It's got your favourites. So all the videos you've currently favourited. Or your playlists, so you know any playlists you've created. So as an example, I've created, and I certainly see the um, Hawaii Ascend, the Galaxy S3 vs HTC One X, etc. You know all my playlists, they're all shown there. And last but not least, you've got your watch later as well. So you know you've seen something on YouTube, you want to click the watch later, but you know you know you're not going to watch till you actually get onto your mobile device when you're on the go. It all comes up there into the watch later. You know that's a pretty cool idea. So if you jump back out of there, and again all your channel feed, you know all your different channels are here. So as an example, if I were to go to any channel, let's have a look at John Farley, because Techno Buffalo shows up all the you know, all of the new videos, and if they've got cool you know, kind of thumbnails that Techno Buffalo have been currently doing like these ones, how cool are those? They look awesome, absolutely awesome. And yeah, obviously there's an upload, you can go to activity, so you can currently see you know if they've uploaded, if I liked videos, etc. It all comes here. So we'll jump back out of there, and again, shows them all here. You know, so if you can see all the channels I'm currently subscribed to. If you want to add any more channels, just basically add, click add channel, obviously you can add some more. Uh, let's go back to the channel feed. So obviously when we're in here, you know you can jump straight into a video just by tapping at any point. So I'm just going to go into some of this video really quickly. Um, who should we go to? Da -da -da. We'll do a sexy fill video. So as you'll probably see now. Right, as you've probably heard there, that's very, very loud. So I'm just going to turn that bad boy down. So as you'll see there, you know, you can actually now actually skip on the top part. Previously, you had to actually turn it in landscape um, and then actually, you know, then kind of swipe along. Now you can actually do it here straight away, which is a very, very big plus point for me. I'll pause that. Obviously, at the bottom, you know, underneath there, you've got your Google uh, Plus button, so you can plus one straight away. If you're not subscribed, you can click subscribe. It's got the little, um, you know, kind of avatar for whoever that person is, you know, and you can tap on there. It takes to the actual channel and the actual on the application itself as well and again you can view all theirs view all their favorites their activity their playlists you name it they're all there and every time you go back obviously just goes back to a previous one shows you obviously all the description your related videos all the comments people have put on there you know and this is what i think the youtube application should have been about a year ago when they actually you know kind of launched the new youtube application the one that looks all like it looks very similar to this but this is just so much more polished you know you know, as an example, the swiping, you can tap, you know, as you've always done, obviously you can swipe. You know, when they brought that kind of stuff in Fire Scheme Sandwich, this is what it should have been like. You know, you can share, you know, so if you click share, you can search, you know, share out to all the different different services you've got on your device. You know, you can like and you can dislike, tell you to all your description, you know, and just keep tapping back, you know, pull it to the side. I just love it, you know, the new job application. And again, it's something I should it should have been there probably long you know a while ago now, but obviously I'm glad they finally updated it. And yeah, this is a video I got quite a few people asking me for one you know if I could do a quick video. I uh, did one when they updated the last YouTube application, so people want to see this one. Anyway, what do you think of it? Do you enjoy the new YouTube application? You know, or do you think it's a bit of a bit overblown? Um, are you annoyed that it's not available for maybe your device? You know, because I know it's not available on some of the lower end devices. Um, but, you know, but anyway, tell me what you think about it. I'm very, you know, very, very pleased with that. It works awesome on my Galaxy S3. The Galaxy Nexus is working fine on that as well. You know, again, everything's, you know, buttery smooth. Uh, Project Butter, 
which should be on jelly you knock with jelly bean. This is an ice cream sandwich. Hopefully it's going to get jelly bean soon. Anyway, I've stopped waffling, Sam. I'm going to get off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. And I shall see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.